welcome back to Bridges. Thank you for staying with us. And if you're joining us, welcome. Um, you will be really happy to hear the conversation that we're about to have in this segment. We're joined by Olivia Holden, who is the Executive Director of Assets Toledo. Welcome, Olivia. Thank you for welcome. having me. And Emily Hardcastle, who is um, with the Catherine Eberly Center for Women. And first of all, before we talk about this wonderful golf outing, I love the name, Golf for Empowerment. I think that's, that's really terrific. We really need to talk to folks out there about the reason for this. This is really all about women, isn't it? Isn't it? It's about empowerment. Um, what we can do to empower assets to Lido when it was formed was to empower people in order to be self-sufficient. And so four years ago, Assets Toledo started the first golf outing. And with those funds, it was to help those people, principally low to mod income individuals, to be able to start a business, empower themselves, and more importantly, to stay in business. So this year, the Everly Center, through Emily, um, came and asked, can we join up with you? And it was a fascinating marriage between the two of us, the agencies. Fascinating marriage. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we have been setting about putting it together, and we know it's going to be fun. I have to admit, Emily was in our, our golf tournament last year, and she and her partner beat all the men. <laughs> Go, Emily. <laughs> the, um, the, but Assets Toledo, uh, does something that I think is 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 pretty powerful as as well as the Everly Center, and we're going to talk about the Everly Center in a second. But um, the thing that you focus on at Assets Toledo is giving people the opportunity to do a couple of things: fulfill their dreams, first of all, so cool, such a great thing, and second of all, to find a way to ensure their own financial sustainability. Um, by starting your own business. It's a risk for sure, but you give them the tools to lessen that risk in business. That's true. What we do, let me back up. Um, 11 years ago, 12 years ago, the community out in Archibald, Ohio said, we have helped persons overseas. Why don't we come to Toledo? Mm -hmm. A little lady by the name of Fern Schrock said, we're going to Toledo. And that's where it started between uh, Friendship Baptist Church and the Mennonite Church. The goal was to help low to mod income people to be self-sufficient for those who had dreams, to help them realize the dream. And it has worked. We have over a thousand people who've gone through our classes. No kidding. We, oh yes, and then we have persons who knew their craft, working out of their home, didn't know anything about signing up for their name. But we teach them that, how to register their name, how to do a projection. Um, it's a 13-week course, but and it's offered three times a year. But in the end, some of my students, and we become a family, but some of my students have never graduated from anything. anything. That is such an amazing thing to hear. Amazing thing. And you at the Everly Center yeah. do some similar kinds of things. We do, and that's why it was such an easy partnership because a we... fascinating marriage. A fascinating marriage, yes. yes. And because we do similar things and our missions are really the same, is to empower people. We're a women's center, but we serve everybody. We have men that take some of our classes, but the majority of people we do serve are women. Um, and we're located on UT's campus. Uh, we help women go back to school. We've helped over 3,000 women go back to school since we were founded in the late 70s. And so we we help women go back to school, we help women change careers if they're interested, or we do resume development, career development, different things like that at the Everly Center. Are your services without cost? Are they free? A lot of our classes uh, are free. Uh, some of them have a small fee associated with them, and the, we, there's financial aid available if necessary. It's just uh, kind of a case-by-case -case basis. And they can just contact the Everly Center for yeah. more information. Mm -hmm. Olivia, your class is free? No, there's a cost, and it's usually based on HUD guidelines. So it's just, is it a sliding fee? It's a sliding fee scale. And the reason we did that because we had a millionaire come through our class. It was not incumbent upon us for him to pay $65 when he could have paid a million if he wanted to. So we changed the structure so that it's based on your income, but we have scholarships as well. Okay. And uh, we have uh, participating agencies who will sponsor uh, people to go through. 
So it's it's just amazing. Where are your classes held? We're located at uh, the Old Mercy Hospital on Jefferson Avenue. We have state-of-the-art equipment there, and it's just fascinating. Mm -hmm. And our instructors are par to none, and they've been with us since the inception, 11 years ago. Dan Anderson's uh, being one. From the Andersons. From the Anderson. He has been with us since the inception. We have people who drive from Archibald, from Sauter Manufacturing, been with us since the inception. A number of other people, but the most important thing that I think is great, we have something called the alumni family. And we have that mentoring where persons, we just don't send them through the course and, and put them in leave the terminal. Them. You, you give them support afterwards. And yeah, most of your classes are held on campus, I would yeah, presume. Yeah, yep, we're located on UT's campus, the main campus, in Tucker Hall. And so we can help with parking, because that always seems to be the issue. Yeah, that but, is an issue over But we there, do. Yeah. Most of yeah. our classes are in the evening. Some mm -hmm. of them are during the day as well. And we just had our new calendar posted. So it's on our website and things like that. But a lot of them are held on well, campus. Well, let's talk about this golf outing yeah. then. Golfer empowerment. Um, what's that mean? Well, that is the title that it's been since its inception, right? And mm -hmm. so it, it fits because our organizations are about empowerment. And we feel that through golf and through outings like this, we can help empower people and make them more comfortable. From our end, specifically women, but men play in the outing as well, and they're more than welcome. But we help empower people because so much business happens and so much happens Absolutely. on the golf course. Oh, and so it's important to know and what's people, going on out there. And, and, you know, people really don't think about that. They really don't. When, when you're going through college, and you're going through these courses, you really don't think about the fact that business gets done in places other than the office. Right. And a lot of business gets done, unfortunately, on golf courses. That's unfortunately, because I don't happen to play <laughs> golf, but a lot of it gets done on golf courses. What yeah. a great idea that yeah. you guys have. So yeah. we actually, at the Everly Center, we hosted a clinic for women um, that happened three weeks before the outing. So we just uh -huh. finished our clinic this last week, and we had 11 or 12 different women come through that and, and start to learn the basics of golf. It takes years to play golf and to learn golf but we just kind of introduced the basics okay is it let's where is it when is it yeah in fact I think we have that information on the screen don't we it is uh, golfing for empowerment it's at the Brandywine Country Club mm -hmm. on July 23rd at 1 o'clock mm -hmm. right register at noon right dinner follows mm -hmm. okay do they have to um, let you know ahead of time there's a number too by the way you guys if you if you want to call for more um, information the numbers on the screen do they have to let you know ahead of time they can sign up yeah. at the door preferably with. yes but if they wanted to if they decide on Monday to come and play then they're more than welcome to, to do that yeah and is there a cost for this yeah it's $85 for an individual player okay if somebody's just interested in coming for the dinner afterwards uh, we'll have a short presentation and there'll be raffle prizes and, and a 50 50 drawing it's $35 for just the dinner for just, oh, so you can go for just the mm -hmm. dinner. If you're not a golfer or you aren't quite a golfer so we can yet. So like just go to eat? Yes. We can yes. just come out yes. to eat? Oh, I might do that yeah, if I can just come welcome. to eat. Yeah. Don't do that. What time, if you're just going to show up for dinner, what time should you be there? It always depends on the weather with the golf outing because it's immediately following golf. But mm -hmm. it, I would guess between 5.30 and 6.00. And what happens to the funds from this event? Yeah, they're split right down the middle between our two organizations. And they help to? Help us to keep going. For mm -hmm. some, it will be partially, for me, scholarships that we can utilize. For those persons who don't have an income, in this economic times, I found that people who came to us, some of them just lost their job, but they've been working at a career forever. Yeah. But they didn't have the funds. The priority was feeding their family. Sure. So we're going to use those funds for that and to um, go out on other venues that we're looking at. So that's what the, our funding will be used for. Yeah, and our funding will go towards all of our programming and help us to have more programming and offer it at a smaller fee and different things like that. So it'll go towards our programming. Okay, and so again, we just want to remind you um, of the details around this event. It's called Golfing for Empowerment. It's at the Brandywine Country Club on July 23rd at 1 o'clock. Dinner to follow. You can go for just dinner. Just dinner alone is $35. The uh, cost for the event is $85. Thank mm -hmm. you guys so much for coming, and um, maybe I'll see you on the golf course. Yeah, we hope Thank you. Alrighty. We got to go away, but we will be right back. Hang tight.